Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Joining us now, former Secret Service agent Dan Bongino. Dan, great to see you. Could you believe the arrogance of that uh, that person? He doesn't realize we know what he did, uh, and we yeah. know when he did it. Yeah, Lou, the, the euphemisms game, spying, surveillance, you know, unauthorized, undocumented, viewing of people, whatever you want to call it, is a magic act for idiots. And uh, Comey likes to play that little game with people. Everybody's called this spying, Lou. Spying, as Bill Barr said appropriately, is a fine English word that describes exactly what happened. And let's just be clear here, Lou. The evidence is, is, is overwhelming that Jim Comey's a liar. They use national security letters. They they used foreign spies to gather intelligence on Trump. That's already been reported on other outlets, by the way, left-leaning outlets, right? They used a FISA court, otherwise known as a surveillance court, a synonym for spying. What does that mean? It's been reported this, on left-leaning outlets. It's been reported on this outlet, which is not no, left-leaning. I'm just talking about the foreign spy. Oh, I see. Every, I mean, everyone from the New York Times on. The Guardian and CNN have already reported a year ago on the fact that foreign spies, yes, spies, Lou, were feeding information to spies in the United States about the Trump team. I mean, I can pull the article up on my phone right now and show it to you. It's out there for everyone to see. Not to mention one final point. They used an actual spy in Stefan Halper, already reported on by the New York Times. I, I don't know what Comey's doing. His legacy well, what is Christopher Ray doing, the Dan, FBI. Because he's doing the What's same that? thing. He's, he is sitting there with yeah. this nonsense uh, talking about yeah. we investigate. And then you hear then you hear Comey parroting all that he said uh, before the committee yesterday, uh, you know, debating the semantics, the etymology of, uh, you know, all of this. These people are out of their minds. Who do they yeah. think they're I, kidding? And Anglo I, I when, I, when Bill you. Barr said a perfectly good Anglo-Saxon word, I wanted to cheer uh, because he's speaking plainly, directly, because he has a high IQ and the ability to do so. These idiots who run around spewing Latin derivatives are usually just that. I won't repeat you know the, the word that I just of used. This. Yeah, you're the shame of this whole thing, Lou, and I'm with you 100% on this. I'm glad you brought this up about Christopher Ray yesterday. He sold this out. There was absolutely no reason to play this game. Christopher Ray is one of the most powerful law enforcement officials in the cosmos. He had the ability yesterday to reestablish faith in the FBI and come out and say, listen, a very simple answer, Lou. All he had to say is there's an investigation going on right now into spying. Yes, spying, an appropriate English word. We're looking into it. And Ms. Shaheen, who he was talking to, the senator, Democrat senator, when I get to the bottom of it, I will be back here and happily talk about it. Instead, what does he do? He does the Comey euphemisms game. I wouldn't use the word spying. They were perfectly content with using the word spying every other time when they were talking about the Patriot Act with George Bush. It's ridiculous. So what he disappointed do you think of, me yesterday. What, what do you think of the uh, Cavalac memorandum at the State Department? And uh, they sealed it. Uh, Christopher Wray took responsibility for sealing it uh, two weeks ago. Uh, and, and instead of sharing the, the documented yeah. uh, knowledge uh, firsthand of the fact that the Steele dossier had a political motivation. Uh, oh, and, and yes, a deadline of November 6th, I believe it was, 2016. All of this has been sealed for 25 years by that same FBI that was engaged right. in spying. Yeah, no worries, Lou. Christopher Ray said we can see the Cavalek memo in 2041. Mm. Um, I could be dead by then, God forbid. 2041, the Cavalek memo, so the audience totally understands and completely gets what this is. This is proof positive that the United States government knew Christopher Steele's information used to spy on Donald Trump was political information. It was not legitimate intelligence. They knew it before the FISA was issued. And now, Lisa Page's testimony, the FBI lawyer who was working on this, makes a world of sense when she seems genuinely surprised under oath in Congress that the same source they were using, Steele, was also reporting to places like the State Department and I believe reporting to the CIA too. John Brennan was the puppet master of this whole thing and I believe he played the FBI for fools and Comey bought into it. Yeah, you know, and I haven't ruled out a, a strong role for the British government yet either. Uh, and I, my guess is you haven't either.
No, Lou, that, but that's not even in dispute. I don't know why. Why would you even rule that out? The Guardian and, and CNN, of all places, have already reported on this. You know, the, the, the fact that the British fed intel to the United States government about the Trump team is not in dispute. I don't even know why this is controversial. CNN is I not retracting their story. I, just, I oh. just wanted to see you uh, go bananas. Yes, you got me. You go bananas. <laughs> you every because it drives me crazy when hosts, you know, out there who are afraid to touch this stuff. It's already oh. been reported on that the British intel spied on Trump. I'm, I'm this is hurt. not controversial. You I'm got hurt. me. Good I thought on I that was one. disguising well my my quivering, <laughs> trembling hands uh, as we talked about. I'm it. glad it's still early and I don't have to go to bed after that. I wouldn't be able to sleep. I'm all excited now. Well, you know, and, and keep it there. And by the way, I'm glad you took it personally. That 25 years. Uh, uh, under seal. You'll make it, Dan. Yeah, You'll crazy. make it. No problem. Yeah, I hope so. Appreciate it. Dan Bongino, always good to see you.